Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I am here with a ROM update for Samsung Galaxy Note 1 GT and 7000. The smooth and material notification panel with easy toggles and our favorite night mode is back here. You could see here the night light is back, which most of us love. Now no need for external light filtering app. Now moving on to settings, we see that the we can apply themes we could change our themes to light dark the themes that we get so here we have it i have set it to light we can also set it to dark it would change to dark yeah now you could see here everything is in dark ui now further changing it back you could also take it to wallpaper basis or the time of the day okay so now we could get the battery percentage in the drawer which was not possible in many of the future or the older stock androids we have themes light and dark we can see battery all the things is quite good so now let's explore the settings in a briefer way here everything is sorted smooth and in subdivisions so here you get the toggles for Wi-Fi mobile data data usage hotspot tethering vpn while you could also turn it on from the notification panel here we get easy toggles we can turn it on turn it off and we could also expand it for everything we have the easy toggles and for mobile data we have direct easy toggle we could also turn it off now further we can go to bluetooth which is under cache devices the apps and notification which are further subdivided and looks quite smooth ui and quite classy look we could get the apps in a different tab and here we could get all the apps permissions we, we can also enable the pip mode VR helper services all these things can be allowed the PIP mode also works with the Google Maps today itself I tried it well I did not try it with Chrome and all now let's move on to battery the battery life is awesome 6 hours 8 minutes yet if you use it like this the way I am using but it up keeps on updating as soon as you stop using it it extends the time the battery saver is too good now the display settings this is the small setting but you could also expand it here you get everything related to display we can plug and everything you need storage is much more sorted but similar to our older roms here this thing we could access our storage free up space and many more storage manager is always already active that means all, all the 90 days old photos and videos which are backed up in your cloud will be deleted and you could not use your internal you could not use your sd card as your internal storage but okay we have got already quite large amount of internal storage so now let's move on to security all the options related we could get like 5 into 5 passwords 4 into 4 passwords 3 into 3 passwords patterns many more options here the one more thing is switching accounts i am the i have this admin account but you could also switch to the guest in the guest the apps you download are not reflected in the admin and in admin the apps downloaded are not reflected in the guest so indirectly we could get the windows os like feature of admin and the guest user and now all the data is back up so now let us move on to system so here you don't see developer options just let us enable it by just clicking five times on the build number seven times on the build number okay now one minute i think so i should re click it 
okay it's asking for the pattern let's give it huh. now I have enabled the development settings yes here we get but as soon as we turn it off it vanishes it just vanishes from the setting two cool things now let's enable it again let's provide it with the password okay now in developer options you get many of the options so here we can also enable our root access so we should not flash the su file we can enable the root access here itself if you flash the su file you would get a boot loop okay you could manage or control the root access you could enable the android deep
multi window yes you are hearing me right you could not use the multi window because multi window is not for the low ram devices and this is the android go version but if you want it just go to the any of the root explorer you are using and just go to the root folder let's grant it the root access if it asks no i have already granted it so now let's go to the system and build dot pro in line something about 133 or 132 sorry 103 it's the config low ram ro dot config dot low underscore ram equals to true it would be true in your rom but you should change it to false to use the multi window after changing it to the false just reboot your device and you will be able to use the multi window and pip works very good with the google maps app so now i i will try but i don't know if it works now with the google map offline let's see if it works it's okay but let's see just double tap on your menu option and click the home button wait uh no it's not coming with the offline so i need to be online to use the maps let me once more try it for you no it's not working right now so you should be online to use that thing and this is the final overview of the rom so guys please like subscribe and share if you want the further rom development and the further bug clarification now let us try just moving it okay just